Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, shout out to you too. It's Uncle Dibs, live in my kitchen, about to make a little bit of lunch. You know, something on the lighter side, you know, I got to get this summer body ready, you know what I mean? When I go back down to Miami, when I get back down to Mexico, you know what I mean? So I, I'm keeping it a little bit light for lunch this afternoon. I'm going to do my carne asada salad, basically steak salad. Something that's very easy to eat, eat very easy to make, uh, nice and light, but still can fill you up. You know what I'm saying? So if you're just now tuned in, making this simple, simple carne asada, asada, excuse me, carne asada salad. That's not easy to say. Try saying that. I'm live out here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you tuned in from. Let me know how your lunch was, if you're on your lunch break, if you're working from home. If you're chilling at home, it's your day off. It's the last day of the year, y'all. I mean, last day of the month. We made it through another month. Two months down already. Man, it's flying by. Nine more to go, all right? So this is a very simple salad. Listen, I'm not a, I'm not a huge salad fan, but this is a good salad for those that don't like salads, all right? Very simple. I got my dry-aged skirt steak right here. Shout out to RC Ranch in uh, Houston, Texas. I got me a little bit of romaine lettuce here as well. Little unsalted butter, some garlic, and my Uncle Dibs Texas steak rub, all right? Also, I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well. Not, not that cheese in the craft, in the green. I'm talking about real parm, all right? I'm gonna show you what to do with that. And I got me a little bit of dressing too as well. All right, let's see. We got Newark, New Jersey in here. Shout out to Jersey. If you're just now tuned in, I'm making my carne asada salad. So quick, so simple. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm live here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. Let me know where you're watching from, all right? So, let's get this thing cracking. I got my cast iron skillet right now over medium heat. I'm going to go ahead and season up my steak first and foremost. Now, here's a little tip about steaks because it's very easy to cook a steak, but it's also very easy to mess it up, all right? So when you're cooking your steaks, don't just take them straight out the refrigerator and throw them right into a hot pan, all right? That's not what you want to do. You want to let this come to room temperature first, all right? And then you also want to season it liberally. The thicker the steak is, the more seasoning you need to use. This is a skirt steak, so it's not that thick, but I'm still going to use the seasoning, okay? And this is just that Uncle Dibs Texas steak rub, all right? So... Season up one side, and then you really want that, let that sit for at least five to 10 minutes, because what's gonna happen is the salt from the seasoning is gonna pull, absorb the moisture from the steak, all right? But because we're, in, we're having lunch, we gotta get back to work, we're gonna move a little bit quicker, all right? But while that's doing its thing, and my cast iron is heating up, let me see where people are tuned in from. We got Springfield, Massachusetts. We got Arizona. Who else we got in here? Someone said that's a lot of seasoning for a thin steak. Well, it's only seasoned on one side, sweetheart, all right? I'm not seasoning both sides heavy like that, just one side, but I appreciate your input. Virginia, ATL, Dallas, Baltimore, St. Louis, Indiana, Cali, Denver, Connecticut, Razorbacks, Arkansas. Why does it have to be room temperature? All right, so think about, think about when you jump into a pool, okay? What's, how, is it better to jump in the pool after you're done tanned a little bit and you're a little bit warmer and then you go into the ocean and go into the pool? Or is it better to be from a freezing house and then jump straight into a pool? You're gonna shiver up, you're gonna shrink up like this, especially my fellas, all right? My fellas know what I'm talking about. So you wanna get to room temperature first so that you have a nice sear on that steak so you don't have any parts that are just like getting shocked by that hot skillet, okay? My mama always used to say, take the meat out, but I never understood why. Mama was right, Yvette. You got a good mama, all right? Shout out to your mama. All right. Shout out to everybody tuned in. My name is Uncle Dibs. Welcome to my kitchen. Everybody tapping that screen right now. We're at over 100 likes. Y'all think we could get to 200? Let me see. Just double tap that screen. Appreciate everybody showing love. All right. Denver, Texas, I see you. All right. So first things first, I got my cast iron skillet. Everybody should have a cast iron skillet. Go and get one. A little bit of olive oil in there. All right, and then that skirt steak is going right in there. Make sure you lay it away from you, okay? 
And you just want to press that down a little bit just to make sure we get that good sear. It's already smelling good, y'all. Already smelling good. And then on the other side, I'm just going to do a couple shakes with some more of that seasoning. Man, I love this. It's barbecue season here in Texas, y'all. The Houston rodeo is going down. They're doing the barbecue cook-offs. It's starting to get nice weather outside. If you're dealing with the blizzard right now, I'm sorry for you. But in Texas right now, in Houston especially, we're getting these nice 75, 80 degree days. And I'm enjoying this right now because very, very soon, we're going to get them 100, 110, 111, 12 degree days, and I'm not ready for that. I like it just like this. Dallas, Texas, I see you. You can smell that. Can y'all smell that? I know y'all can smell that, right? Like I said, this is the only season that I used, and since we got over to, we almost had 2,000 likes. Since y'all got me to 2,000 likes, I'm gonna do something nice for y'all, all right? Everybody double tapping that screen. Thank you so much. This seasoning, just for y'all on this live, if you're watching this replay, don't, just don't work. You can go to my site, UncleDibs.com, and use the code LUNCH for 30% off this seasoning, all right? Use the code L-U-N-C-H, all caps. Just hit my name up there. Go to the site, and you can get the seasoning, and you can make steaks all spring, summer long that are going to smell so good. I'm in ATL, and it's perfect barbecue weather. ATL is my own hometown. I grew up in the A, all right? I grew up in the A. So today, everybody from Atlanta, if you're just not tuned in, welcome to my kitchen. Introduce yourself. Let me know where you're from. So that the Dre from PA. I see you. Is that, is that Pennsylvania or Port Arthur? There's two PAs. All right, y'all. So like I said, what we're going to do, we're going to let that sear. And now, just a classic, classic salad, y'all. Easy peasy. I got my nice romaine lettuce here, already washed and everything. I'm just gonna cut that root off, just like that. And then I'm gonna cut just a little bit of that top off too as well, because that could be a little bit bitter. And I'm just gonna slice up this, this lettuce while this steak is cooking, okay? And you can put whatever toppings you want in your steak, but this is, I mean, in your salad. But I'm keeping this real simple because I got stuff to do. I got to get back to work. I know you guys think I just cook all day, but I got other stuff to do as well. And you just want some nice little strips just like that. Mix it all up with your hands. This is perfect if you're on that keto diet. This is perfect if you're just trying to watch your carbs. Like I said, I'm going back home to Miami in a couple months, so I got to get some of this off. You know what I'm saying? Because when they see me on South Beach, I don't do that going in the pool. I'm a big dude. I've been a big dude my whole life, but I don't do that go to the pool Go to the ocean with my shirt on. I don't do that. All right. Everybody getting all this. I don't have nothing to hide. I ain't ashamed of nothing. But I got to get a couple pounds off. So I'm making me a nice, nice little light lunch today. All right. So once you start to see your, your steak smoking like that a little bit, it means it's time to flip it. Okay. And we're just going to flip that. Look at that nice sear we got there. That's what you're looking for. And we're just going to cook that other side. Now at this point, this is when you want to start giving your uh, aromatics a chance, all right? So first we're gonna get a little bit of butter in here. Once again, unsalted butter, no salt. If you're cooking with salt, you don't need to use salted butter. That's too much salt, all right? Butter in there melting, and then also some garlic. And that's gonna create our nice basting sauce, garlic butter basting sauce, all right? Just because it's a salad doesn't mean that we can't do this, all right? But if you wanna leave it out, it's totally optional. It's up to you, okay? See what we got up in here. Show them one day how we make conch. Hey, listen, Miami. Miami, be, people be sleeping on Miami. You got all types of people down there. You got the Caribbeans. You got the Latin culture. You got the, you know, uh, uh, the down south people, the people that are born and raised in Florida. So it's such a melting pot of flavors. I love eating in Miami, not just on South Beach. Go across the bridge. Go up to 70, I think it's 75th, 77th. Go up to North Miami, go to Liberty City, go to Little Haiti, go to the Little Havana, Opalaka, uh, Alapata. Go out there, all right? All right, so now that that, mel that uh, butter is melted and that garlic's in there too, we're just going to baste the steak like that, all right? Just going to baste it. All you need, need to do is grab a spoon and act like you're trying to get some water out your boat so your boat don't sink, all right? That's all you need to do. And this is smelling amazing, y'all. I wish TikTok came out with that scratch and sniff. Hopewell, Virginia, shout out to LaShawn in here. Miami Heat, 3005, you already know. 
Hey, listen, I want to ask y'all something while this steak is cooking. I just got an idea when I was out on my balcony. One of the main comments that I get from people when I post my videos and everything, and something everybody that follows me and, and gives the great comments on my videos, I appreciate the love. And shout out to everybody that's double tapping this screen. We had 3,000 likes, y'all. What's this? And it's perfect. 3,000 likes. 30% off season is at UncleDibs.com. It goes together, all right? Use the code LUNCH during this live. LUNCH, all right? So anyway, one of the main comments I get during my lives is, I need a plate. Can I get a plate? I want a plate. And these are people from everywhere, all right? So I was thinking about doing, like, private, like, one-on-one -on -one dinners where people can come to me and I can cook with them, show them how to make something like this, like a carne asada salad or whatever the case may be, talk, talk about our life, talk about food, and then sit down and eat. Is that something that y'all would do? Or am I crazy? Do I, am, I, am I thinking a little too big? Like I would have different dates during the month. So like say March is coming up. I'd be like, all right, I have March 15th available. You want to have dinner with dibs? We cook a meal, talk life, whatever the case may be. Is that crazy? Diva, Diva Nola Queen, you, you'll be down for that? LaShawn, thank you so much for, the, for that love, LaShawn. I thank you that you got the seasonings. Jilly, she said, I wish I lived closer. Yvette said, yes, do it. Film it and make it a whole show. That's not a bad idea, too. I was going to keep it private, you know what I'm saying? But if that's something that you guys think that, that y'all will be into, that might be something I might develop. Chef Star, I got this beautiful skirt steak, dry aged skirt steak right here that I'm about to slice up and make me a nice carne asada salad right here. So just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. I will be there every day. <laughs> there is no show out there like that. Okay. I might, I might got some stuff to do, all right? I appreciate y'all giving me some input, you know, because I wouldn't be here without y'all. So, you know, I know I know through the seasons and... I love to see what you guys create in your seasonings. So if I could cook for y'all, that'd be great too. Just got another seasoning on yours. Thank you, Jilly. What seasoning did you get, Jilly? Chef Star, it smells amazing too. Scratch your phone and smell it. You'll be able to smell it too, Chef Star. All right, like I said, if you're just not tuned in, I've got my carne asada salad. We had over 4,000 likes, so as a thank you, I'm doing 30% off all of my seasonings. Not just this seasoning. But all my seasons, I know we said we got some people in Miami, so they know about that jerk nice spice. I know it's backwards, but that jerk nice spice is good for my Caribbeans or anybody that likes it hot. Go to UncleDibs.com, use that code LUNCH for 30% off. 30% off all the seasons, all right? All right, y'all, so we're going to cut this heat right now. And this is another important part of cooking steaks, all right? Another important part of cooking steaks is you have to let them rest, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. We let it rest, all right? Put that steak right over there, okay? Got my heat cut off. So listen, you can cook the steak all day, that's cool. But the reason why you need to let your steak rest is because all these juices, you see that steak glistening right there? All those juices right now are doing, they're doing the bankhead bounce. They're doing, you ever seen Lil Uzi Vert dance when, he, when that um, I Just Wanna Rock thing comes on? Y'all ever seen Lil Uzi Vert dance? They're doing a the little Uzi Vert, I Just Wanna Rock dance. That flavor, that juice, is doing a little Uzi Vert dance right on top of that steak. So what you need to do is let the song go off so that the little Uzi Vert juice will sit back down into the steak. So when you take that first bite, you're like, damn, this is busting. It's because that flavor has gone back into the steak. When you take a steak right out of the cast iron and you throw it on your plate and get off into it, it's not gonna hit after, like if you had it rest. You gotta let it rest, all right? So we're gonna let that rest. Usually, you should let it rest for at least half the time it took to cook, all right? If you wanna really be gangster with it, rest it for the same amount of time you had it cook. So I think I started this live at about 105, maybe drop the steak at in, in about like 106, 107. So that's about like a 10 minute cook, but I'm gonna let it rest for a couple minutes, all right? I'm gonna talk to y'all. Jilly says she got the, straight, got the straight drop seasoning. This is what Jilly got. Jilly got that all purpose rub. She could use this for breakfast. She could use this for lunch. She could use this for dinner. This is my all purpose straight drop seasoning, all right? Get it at UncleDibs.com, use that code LUNCH. Yvette, the seasoning I used 
for this steak was my Uncle Dibs Texas Steak Rub. It's the only seasoning I use to bring that great down south Texas flavor to all your steaks. You can use this on brisket, you can use this on pork chops, you can use this on your burgers, turkey burgers, whatever. All right, the Texas Steak Rub is what I use, just restocked. Texas Independence Day is on Thursday, so I had to get right. It's barbecue season. Use the code LUNCH for 30% off, all right? 30% off. Dirty Bird Rub. That Dirty Bird Rub. Who's that talking about that? Fresh. Fresh. This is what you got, man. And guess what? I got something. If you like the Dirty Bird Rub, if you like the Dirty Bird Rub, next month I got something very, very special for all my chicken lovers coming out for y'all. Like, I'm working on it as we speak. And I cannot wait to drop this. I cannot wait to announce it. If you want to know when it's coming out or what it is, make sure you subscribe to my email list at UncleDibs.com. Hit the link in my bio and you'll get it first. All right. Thank you, Jilly. I appreciate that love, Jilly. All right. Let me see who's put some orders in because I want to shout y'all out before I build this steak. I got to show love to y'all. Man, we had over 5,000 likes. Thank you for everybody tapping that screen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Team Oatmeal or Team Grits? Y'all going to hate me. I really don't even like grits or oatmeal. I'm a fruit guy in the morning. I like me a nice smoothie in the morning, but I do not like grits, do not like oatmeal. That's not, that's not my thing. I'm, I'll, I'll mess with a little, little bit of cereal though, but yeah, I don't like grits. All right, a, mom, a mama, Chance, Sean, Gloria, Diane, Terry, Joe. Everybody's putting those orders in right now using that code LUNCH for 30% off. I appreciate y'all so much. 5k likes thank you so much for everybody jumping to tapping that screen and everybody following all right y'all let's build this steak so like i did like i told y'all i went ahead and chopped up my salads it's all ready to go spilling a little bit of it i got a big mess over here so now so with a skirt steak you want to cut against the grain not with the grain if you cut a skirt steak just if i were to just slice it just like this you will have very, very tough pieces of meat. It'll be very, very, very hard to really uh, enjoy that steak. So what you want to do, you want to cut it in half just like this. All right, cut it in half, and then you want to cut it against the grain so that you get pieces just like this, all right? That's what you're looking for. Now, I don't know that's probably too rare for some of you guys, but I like it like this, okay? I like it like this. And if I would have let it rest just a little bit more, it would have come to temperature a little bit more. But I like it just nice, medium rare, just like that. And it's my salad, so I'm going to make it how I want to make it, okay? Let me know what temperature you like your steak. Put whatever temp you like your steak in the comments, and I'm going to make it like that for y'all next time. Just don't put well done. That's all I asked. Don't put well done. That'll hurt my feelings. All right? Got my steak. Good to go. I got my salad over there waiting. I got my dressing waiting too as well. I'm gonna use some nice Italian dressing on this, this afternoon. All right, so now I'm gonna take my steak, put it up on one side and the other side, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my fresh, this is fresh, real Parmesan cheese. Somebody said well done, medium, why not well done? Because if, you're gonna, if you want well done, just get beef jerky. You're, you're defeating the whole purpose of eating a steak. Now, burgers, I do medium well. I do well done on a burger. But for a nice piece of steak, you're cooking too much out of it, all right? But if you buy the steak, get it however temp you want it. I'm just not cooking it well done for you, all right? But for real, though, medium rare, medium at most, you're good to go. So I got my mandolin here. I'm going to save me. Some of that cheese right over the top. Oh yeah. You would think we had a steakhouse for lunch. We had a nice business dinner, right? You can do this all at your house, y'all. You don't have to constantly be dropping, you know, big money at these places that give you subpar service and just basic ass food. You can do this right at your house, all right? So basically, all you need to do Dress this up just a little bit, just like that. And this is a real simple, easy salad. No fuss, a little bit of dressing on top. And 
And ladies and gentlemen, what did that take? 10, 15 minutes? You're good to go, just like that. Just like that. Go ahead and take this recipe. I'm actually gonna make this recipe and put it up on my site, but I need somebody to do me a favor. I need a, I need a thumbnail for when I put this up on YouTube. Somebody screenshot this and send it to me, all right? Screenshot this and send this to me. Thank you. All right, y'all. DM it to me on Instagram. We got our nice medium rare steak right there. Might be too rare for you, but not for me. We got our nice romaine lettuce right there. Use iceberg, whatever you want. And then our fresh, fresh shaved. Look at that. Fresh shaved parm right there, just like that. If you want me to get into this right now, drop some fire emojis in the comments, y'all. Man, we're almost at 6,000 likes. I thank y'all for everybody tapping that screen right now. Everybody following, I see you, James. What kind of, what kind of steak, on uh, Skirt steak, man, dry aged. Skirt steak, all right? But you can use a ribeye, but for carne asada, this is a carne asada salad. You gotta wanna go with that skirt, all right? Outside skirt, not inside, outside. All right? All right, let's make it happen, y'all. But first and foremost, Thank you, Lord, for this food about to receive for the nursery for our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, y'all, this is perfect. They're going to they're gonna love me when I get back to Miami. I'm just going to stay on this right here. No carbs. Nice and light, but still does, a, does the job. Listen. That's good, Saudi. Listen, y'all, cook the steak how you want it. It's no big deal. I'll just be joking around with y'all. But make sure you use a good flavor, though. That's all I use was this Texas steak rub. That was it. Get this from UncleDibs.com. Hit the link in my bio. Use the code LUNCH for 30% off. I'm telling y'all, that's flavor right there, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. Diva, you know what I'm talking about with that medium rare, right? It's a happy man right here. Man, that's bustling. With the cheese, too. Let me shout out some more of y'all that are putting their orders in. Because I got to get back to work. I got to get back to work, y'all. Six and a half thousand likes. Thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate that. Joanne, Kevin, Robert, Tara, Jackie, Tyra. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Everybody putting that lunch code in for 30% off. Go ahead and do it. What time is it? 30 more minutes are going to be on that code. 30 more minutes on that code. So two, uh, about 2 o'clock here in Texas. 3 o'clock if you're on the East Coast. But listen, this is just a simple salad. I know I like to cook a lot of this and that, fried, up, fried it up and everything like that. But... I cook stuff that I actually like to eat, and this right here, I can't be mad at that, you know what I mean? Bust them. I'm gonna put this whole recipe up on UncleDibs.com. Came out amazing, I wish I took a picture of it. Anybody that screenshotted that picture of me, send it to me on, on Instagram, I appreciate it. Thank y'all for the love. It's the last day of the month. Start March off on the right foot. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, whatever. Make your next move your best move. March is a long month, 31 days. March madness, not March sadness. March madness, all right? So let's kill it. Let's do our, let's do our thizzle. Let's do our thing. We're almost a quarter way through the year. It's time to mash and get it, okay? Thank you, Jilly. Ebony, medium rare all day. Anita, you're on the well done side. Do you? If you're buying the steak, I'll do it. And I appreciate everybody that gave me that feedback on that dinner series. I might start doing that. So subscribe to my subscribe to my email list to stay in the loop with all that. Chef Star, thank you so much. You have a beautiful day too. Yvette, you got your spice. Thank you, Yvette. I'm about to pack it right now for you. Everybody use that code lunch, 30% off for the next 30 minutes. I love y'all. Unk is out.